Hello, y'all. It's Crescent Moon, and that minor me stopping in the middle of my name was making sure that I had, in fact, turned on my microphone. <laughs> I tried to start this a minute ago, and no sound. So, anyway, I have Draco Wolf here to my left. I have Rikar and Cole. Rikar Hello. And Cole. Um, hopefully pretty soon here, I might be able to be doing a few collabs. I'd have to find somebody with a server or get my own back up and running in order to do a few collabs with some other YouTubers. No, not Jacksepticeye, not Mark, unfortunately. But um, one of them is a subscriber of mine, which was pretty cool. Um, and another one, and let me think here. That's about it. So far. So, anyway, I put no cheats on this world. So everything's done by hand. And the thing that really kind of like got me was when I came in, I was down here. If you're it ripped show me you. in in the ocean. Good for you. So I had to come up like, the fuck? You know? And I'm thinking, okay, shit, it's my bonus chest down there because everybody knows me. I do the bonus chest thing. But it's not. It's on a yeah, She's too lazy to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be so pissed if it was. Thank you. I'm sure. Never mind. What? <laughs> Nothing. No. What? Alright. You said fuck you to him, right? Yeah. That's for later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm kind of wondering if having an island as my house might have been my safer route. It's okay, I'm in a plains area. Uh, Ooh, question. What? Were you trying to show me stuff while ago? No, why? I was going to say, because if you were, your share screen is not on, so... <laughs> oh, no, I was not trying to show you that. See, I'm just nice like that. At least I hope you weren't trying to show me nothing with the cam on. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be showing you that anyway. <laughs> I don't want to fall down there, so... <clears throat> Let me up, damn it. Oh, fucking hell, you son of a bitch. No, that asshole came running at me. Since when do full goddamn zombies run? Um, they did that in the 1.10, actually. Zombies can run now. And I'm sorry, but you just sound like you had a fucking Haji on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that gave me a fucking heart attack. I know how to do CPR, so you're good. <laughs> a hell of a lot of... What the... Oh, really? <laughs> really, you dicks? Did you see Vicks or dicks? Dicks. I fell in a hole. Oh, so you fell inside of Angie? Not on vid. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, man. I know there's a hole there. That's not okay. <clears throat> Oi. No, seriously, that like that hurt. Uh, do, do you need some help? I I can get you some help. <laughs> anyway, at least I found some coal. Hey, that's what it's Yeah. Can you fall to the bottom of the earth? <laughs> <laughs> no, and this is I, I got out of the whole thing for you. Oh, okay. 
I know some are probably wondering like if I'm gonna have my server back up and whatnot. Probably, maybe, I don't know, depends. I just realized something. What? Uh yeah. <laughs> My local mic's been on this whole time. <laughs> Dork. Staff Sergeant just comes up here and keys up on mic. He's like, PFC, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I thought you quit over there. Yeah. Other place. Not that place. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say. You know. Yeah. It, it's, it's another place. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, Alright, now. Let's sit here. I'm gonna go gather my torches back. <laughs> I've got enough, I've got some coal, I've got like 16 coal, and then I'm gonna, um... I was gonna say, did you just get poked or something? Yeah. I, I don't have enough! Oh, no, I thought I was... <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, butchers! Uh, <laughs> anyway, no. Um, I thought I was gonna fall inside another hole. You ain't getting surprise butt sex from me. Oh shit, I'm in the damn desert. <laughs> it's your, uh... Yeah. <laughs> that are you. Ooh, that's a nice formation. Right? Oh, you know, it's freaking sand. How's it a nice formation when I'm not in it? <laughs> no. I don't take orders from you. Ah, uh, I'm a PFC, thank you. <laughs> so considered a private here. Shut up, kitty. <laughs> I am making a point. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. Yes, I am making a point to a second lieutenant because you're not a second lieutenant no more. <laughs> All I see when I come up here is like skeletons, zombies, and freaking spiders. And whatever the fuck else is here. Shadows. Just what the hell's with the mountains today? It's Minecraft for you. <laughs> well, that's what they mean by amplify. Yes, I know my graphics are shit. Or, are shitting out. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> That's what's supposed to be mean by amplified. Who's the bunny? Oh, look, it's food. Yeah, I, I don't want to use your build on Staff Sergeant. I don't know where it's been. <laughs> uh, if you put that dildo on my mom's ass, you've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> the Colonel of the 5th Marines, because the um, Staff Sergeant just said to me, if I don't fix my mic, right? Yeah. You know, he's messing with me, so I turned around, and he said he's going to gouge out my eyeballs with a dildo. I turned around and said, I don't want to use your dildo, I don't know where it's been. He's like, up your mom's ass, ha ha! I said, if you shoved it up there, you've got issues, and the Colonel of the 5th Marines just said, What'd you do? Get the wrong hole, Staff Sergeant? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm hoping for lots of new stuff. I found a, um, well, I think I told you already. I found a good horror site for games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's a reason why. Miku from Yobro email says horror. <laughs> this woman child cannot say friggin' horror with an extra, you know, like when you say the word horror, usually 
it's the back of your tongue <coughs> that gives it that extra herb in it, right? She can't yeah. do it. Sometimes I can't really say it either. Yeah. Like yeah. When I try to say horror, it sounds like I'm saying horror. <laughs> yeah. Well, we... Ow! Fucking bitch slapped me. Anyway, um... We discovered... Maybe later. <laughs> her, uh, issue... I can't get down there. Back when she was first doing Minecraft, and she told me what she was making, and she's like, I'm making a whorehouse! I'm like, you're making a what? <laughs> I'm making a whorehouse. I'm like... Let me see. It's like it's in, it's in my carnival world. It's a whorehouse. I'm like, honey, horror. Whatever. No horror. <laughs> and because she couldn't say it, that's why she gives the extra, you know, er to it. Yeah. Hey, I found sheep, and I now have enough. I like that. No, I'm making a whorehouse. <laughs> You're making a what? <laughs> oh yeah, that was my reaction. I'm like. What? Like, who told you that? What that was? And you're only like ten. Wait, 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 wait a minute. She goes to public school, yes. That's why. <gasps> That's your answer. Found a village. <laughs> ah, a village. Found me a village. Well, I found me a person. <laughs> Definitely, it's not a village. There's like only one person here. I found me a hive. You permission to kill. <laughs> Okay. Alright. <laughs> Shit, I need to get inside a house. I and all I gotta say house. is if anybody from over there watches this that is one of them people, all I gotta say is if I offend you, sorry, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry if I offend you, but fuck you. <laughs> How do you get into this godforsaken house? You don't. <laughs> sure, you'd be the digging it. Cutting edge of zombie protection devices. <laughs> Once you get in, the stairway that you used to get in collapses. Actually, there's more village up there, so. You cannot get in, lower half. But, a zombie cannot get in either. Well. Defense like mechanisms activated. Oh my god, how do they get up there? <laughs> yeah, the entire village is stuck up there. <laughs> That's where the whorehouse is. No, this is when Foxy just makes her way up here and says, fuck this dumb shit. It has exploding cattle. <laughs> oh wow, there's a house stuck up under it. <gasps> Fuck you, you dick zombie. It has a house stuck up <gasps> <laughs> Ow, why? Oh, that's why I'm dying. I need food. Can you die so I can eat? Thank you. Fucking I don't want to die. Wait, that's raw salmon. That's not going to do me no good. <laughs> well, I do, but I have a few people that won't let me die, so... <clears throat> you son of a... Lord, monkey, out of space! <laughs> okay, you know what? Can you hear me loud and clear now, Private? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Get your ass, get your gear, and get the fuck out of my face! Oh. Scream at it! I don't Scream have it. <clears throat> I was looking to see if I could find. Boobs? No, because I had to look down for that. Um. <laughs> no, I was trying to see if there was a way to get over somewhere, but. 
Yeah, y'all can kiss my ass. I'm putting it on peaceful for the moment so I can get back where I was. Aw, cheater. <laughs> That's what I think about in, the cheating. In war, there is no peaceful. So I ain't no goddamn war. <laughs> Yeah, it is. You got creepers, which would uh, be your. Um, if you want to think about this in military standards, your creepers would be your suicide bombers. Your uh, zombies would be your. Um, Frontline infantry. Yep. And then your exploding cattle would be the. I have nothing to live for! <laughs> then your um, skeletons would be your artillery. Yep, or your snipers. <laughs> yeah. TNT would be the uh, artillery. <laughs> oh lord, somebody's got a helicopter. I was surprised that uh, they haven't made pods for that. <laughs> what, for the, Mi for the Minecraft? Yeah. They have. I was going to say, there's mods for Minecraft. Not anything <laughs> No. Oh, no, yeah, no. There is actually a way now, because I've seen it on YouTube, there is a way to make it look like you have guns and stuff. And there is actually a way to um, get guns in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care much for it, though. Because this dude, he was literally shooting a machine gun at someone. <laughs> My thought is, give me my 50 cal, we're good. <laughs> Alright, What? Oh, just be like, oi. I'm a deadly aim of 50 cal, dude. <laughs> well, that and I shot somebody in the nuts last night, so... Nice. Yeah. Well, I did! He's talking at himself, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> Don't want anybody here to think you know I'm real life military because I'm not. <laughs> because I'm sure there are people that watch it that are really in the military and they're probably like, who the fuck's this Joker? <laughs> and I yeah. don't, I don't want to get in trouble. So yeah. Joker, I say jackass. What? Well, either way, we don't want people to think he's real military. I am not a donkey, thank you. Oh, oh. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> and he probably checked in his pants before he said positive. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not the one with a tic tac. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Jump, damn it. Thank you. I don't think I have to worry about the problem. Oh I'm my not. God. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I think we're about to get in trouble. <laughs> More like you. Well, no, you know, whatever. But... You know what I? Was, you know what oh, I? Oh, there's really the like damn funny. door. How did you get in there? Because <laughs> because I can. Dude. No, seriously, there's like no way you would have had to take a fucking ladder to get up there. Yeah. Um. Hey, Draco. Yeah. Oh, stuff. You want to know that what's really funny? What? Remember when I said that my um, mic is stuck open in SL? Yeah. My commanding officer standing right here listening to everything I'm saying. <laughs> oh, God, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then I got another um, colonel over there with another uh, unit <laughs> listening. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, I almost killed you, you son of a bitch. Did you take some of my stuff? Probably. <clears throat> oh, there it is. There is the rest of my junk. Oh, never mind. My command now is okay. <laughs> I just got the achievement of getting wood. <laughs> uh... <laughs> she likes her morning wood. wood. <laughs> Any 
Hazel. Okay, now to unbury this house, man. Oh, I'm actually for one of the colonels over here. I'm actually their evening entertainment. Ha <laughs> so special now. <laughs> hey, Colonel, I deserve a promotion for this. Well, there's how you get in. <laughs> that would suck ass. <laughs> There's literally like a mountain right here and they can't get out. <laughs> right? Oh shit, my thing's broke. Your what just broke? My pickaxe, oh smart ass ones. <laughs> Oh my you god! Hush, you. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, 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 I didn't know you had a. <laughs> no, but her brother Kit knows. Oh. Uh, all of a sudden, you hear something in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an ambulance! Wait, never mind. That shit's no joke, man. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> Oh, that would teach people not to bend it one way or the other. <laughs> Am I pissing you off? No. I'm trying to figure out how to dig <laughs> this house out. Well, no tools. Well, no shovel. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Here we go. See, dug out. There. That is that a super house. I'm about to get in trouble with the colonel. <laughs> okay, going up. Hopefully. Y'all's road sucks ass. The base I'm on sucks ass. I'm just kidding. not all captured and shit. <clears throat> okay, and this one is up on a, uh... <laughs> This one is up on a bar. Looks like a sure cliff. What's up, dude? Well, they had the safest village in the world. Hey, it's still safe. Ish. Oh, thank you for the vote of confidence, dear. I'm just oh, I just got it like it is. <laughs> I just got real good confidence just now. I mean, that's your track record with villages. Personally, me, I go through a killer ball. I've saved the zombies the trouble.
Well, so now begs the question, should I stay here? Or should I move on? Because all that's here is sheep. Sheep! Kill the sheep, take the wool and mud, and move on. Take everything out of the garden, and move along. Ow. Without the dying part. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Uh, I've got lots of coal now. I guess I pissed everyone off. Why? One of the colonels just told me, you know, he's here to help with something, right? Yeah. And I said, well, if there's anything I can do, you know, to help, let me know. He's like, sure, there is one thing I have for you to do. I'm like, what's that? He's like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, okay. Wow, that was rude. Uh, I guess he is a colonel, you know. I don't care, it's still rude. <laughs> The sergeant Milk would just shout, Staff Sergeant, your flying is worse than you trying to get laid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's part of the thing that turned me off with the military thing is there, there's a way to be commanding and a commanding officer. Without being a dickbag. Exactly, and I'm sorry, but just looking over at somebody when they're out of care, you know, acting out of character and whatnot, and just telling them to shut the fuck up, that is not okay. No. Well. <clears throat> now, no, I'm not one of those pussies that have to hold the red card up of, oh, my feelings are hurt, okay? I, I fully. Oh, fuck! I'll be right back. Alright. I mean, I fully expect, you know. Shit like that to be said, and for shit like that to go down. Yeah. But in the same respect, that's real life military, dude. Yeah. Huh. Um, no, they try RP like it is RL. Welcome to Failville. I hate to tell some of these 18 and 19 year old little kids they wouldn't last two seconds in the real military. Hmm. -mm. Oh my god, blessed long shot. Especially the dumbasses that think it's all, you know, all you have to do what I say or else you get your ass beat. Uh, no. One thing I can tell you right now, you know, never be in the military myself, I'm gonna say that. But, um, nowadays, the DIs are not allowed to touch the recruits. Yeah, we're just such bullshit. Not really, because the DIs were beating the shit out of the recruits. I mean, putting them in the hospital. Oh, well, the shit out of them. you know, I was taking shit too far there. But what? nowadays, they have the red cars and all that. Come on. Well, what are we talking about? The oh. justification of the military. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I mean, it used to be a long time ago, like, in the, I, I'm, more than likely I'm wrong on this, but I don't think I am. Like back in the 50s, the drill instructors could literally grab you and shove you literally full force into a brick wall. Yeah. They and ram head into it. They stopped doing that back in the 70s because drill instructors were putting uh, recruits into the hospital. Well, I look at it this way. Those real instructors will only do what the enemy will do, and the enemy will only do things worse. Exactly. You see, that? that's the point that I'm at, and that's why it pisses me off. It literally pisses me off with this red, red card cars. shit. Yeah. Well, the Marines. They're supposed to be the best of the bad, and they have red cards if it gets too hard for them. They can hold up a red card and don't take a nap. Yeah, here's my thought. If you're over in Afghanistan or freaking Iraq, there is no red card you can hold up. Oh, you can. You can hold up to the enemy. Oh, this is too hard for me. <laughs> there you go. Permanent nap. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your nap, pussy. You know, I wonder if I take everything and they go to replant it, if they would replant, um, oh, what the hell, beetroot? Remember where they are. They come back. I can't just remember where they are here. Put a beacon. <clears throat> oh, 
Or what you could do is you put five beacons, one on each corner of the um, 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 village, and then one on the tallest building in the village. There you go. Yeah, but see, the <laughs> problem with that is I'm on survival and no cheats. Oh. Oh, you're fucked. Mm-hmm. So. I think I see another village right over there, though. So we'll just keep going that direction as I murder and slaughter animals. Give me all your wool, damn it. Yeah, excuse our little rant on the military, you know, we, we, we get that way at times. Yeah. Well, here's something I actually got. I started to, um, you know, with the new place I'm with, it's with my, um, my friend Hugo, right? Yeah. And he is in the Roloff military and stuff, and, um, I told him, I said, uh, you know, I don't believe that I'm, you know, cut out for it, because I can't, I can't really see, I'm not as fast as some of these other people, especially these younger kids, you know, they're quick, I mean, they're like, you know, Somebody yells up, hey, hey, or whatever, boom, like that. I can't do that, because I can't move my mouse that quick. No. And he told me, he told me something. He's like, you can give up on me, but I'm not going to give up on you. Because one person told me one time in real life, you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. No. So he ain't letting me quit. And, um, I told him what happened with, um, the other military unit yeah. I was with. And he went over there and talked to their commanding officer and got them demoted. Oh, wow. And almost got them dishonorably discharged. Go, you go. Just to kind of glance over it without going into too many details. Um, wh bullies are bullies no matter what yep. they say. And these guys were being complete and total dicks to him. You know, saying a lot of shit that was not true and or shit that would, you know, be said that would specifically be used to hurt someone. Pretty much. Everybody in here, just to, you know, kind of sum it up, I don't really care if everybody knows or not. I have vision pump, so I'm not as quick as most people that have 20-20. So, for somebody that can whip their mouse over there and click a button, it may take me five minutes to click that button. So. And they were making jokes about how, um, I can't see to walk straight or that I don't need kids because I just end up hurting them and all this other crap. So, I told my friend Hugo about it and he went up. <laughs> he didn't He didn't appreciate that at all. He told me, he's like, that's not okay. I don't care if they're trying to pretend to be that in SL or not. He's like, I don't care if they're real life. That's not okay. No, it's not. Go through the lava and the fire? Or to the left where there's trees. Trees. Hell or trees. Yeah. Hell or forest. Forest. Well, wait a minute. It looks hell like it makes a loop. I'll go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told so many times to do that in my lifetime, I might as well do it. Uh, you too? Huh? Who told you to go to hell? I I've had multiple people in my lifetime, sweetheart. So have I. Oh, okay. Not, not lately, okay. But in my lifetime. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, um, I was over here at Hugo's place, and um, I'm not going to release any names of the other person. Anyway. Oh, wow. Another person decided to be a and uh, Hugo jumped his butt in front of everybody. Yeah. 
Anyway. That's definitely huh. hell. Hmm? Jesus. Draco and I, village, and lava is the extent of how much lava is showing right now. Hmm. Here's a question. Hell or trees? Let's see. In hell, you will run into Satan. In the trees, you could run into Slenderman. <laughs> I'll take hell. <laughs> it's kind of my point. I, it's kind of my thought. I'll take Satan first. <laughs> Of course, everybody's like, oh, He's Slender Man doesn't exist. Yeah, okay, whatever, shut up. My thought is, you know, I'm trying, this is how I am, people. Do I believe in Slender Man? I've never seen him, so I cannot say that I believe in something that I've never seen. However, I do believe that there are things in this world that you don't want to fuck with. <laughs> and he happens to be one of them. <laughs> This is where I go take it from someone who has actually seen him. Mm -hmm. And no, it was not an overactive imagination either, because when I saw him, I had no idea what the hell he was. Because when I was ten, I was lived a very sheltered, very very sheltered life. Okay, I came from the era of the Black Lagoon and the thing <laughs> and. The Mummy vs. Frankenstein, the Mummy, uh, the old black and white yeah. horror movies, okay? That's what, that's what my grandma raised me on. Because <clears throat> my grandma raised me. Yay. So, you know, I'm used to the those. Well, I go to walk in these woods near my house, and she had already told me, stay the f out of them. <laughs> you know, oh, hobos. Man. Yeah, because, uh, you know, there's hobos, there's, um, we had pumas, or, um, cougars, mountain lions. However, uh, whatever other name you want to use for them. Uh -huh. You know, and at yeah, 10 years old, you know, you can only push yourself up so much to look bigger than it and hope to God you scare it. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, cow. Come here, cow. <laughs> I, I want your... I want you. Come here. Die, cow. I want to wear your skin. Anyway. <laughs> no offense to Freddy's that watch this video. <laughs> the leather for the armor. Damn, people. I don't care. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> um, I had me on into the woods, and I was starting to kind of go up the trail a little bit, and I'm thinking, oh, this isn't so bad. What the hell is she so scared of? You know, I'll just go up a little bit and turn around and go home. Because as far as she knows, I'm at the swing, and I didn't want to get caught not being at the swing. <clears throat> well, I look farther up the trail, and there's what looks like a guy standing there, which automatically makes me stop as it is. Like, <clears throat> you know, because it's a guy, you know. And I noticed he was semi-hunched, but not, you know, really hunched over. So I really didn't think much about it, and then I saw it looks like the tree is moving around him. Or like he had tree branches attached to him. <clears throat> Now, also keeping in mind that I knew I had the sight as well, okay? I already knew I could see shit as a little kid. So I'm thinking, okay, I know I'm seeing something, but what the f am I seeing, you know? <laughs> and I don't know, I mean, it just, something about it creeped me out, and I'm like, I'm getting the frack out of here. And I did. Now, keep in mind, this is, say, I was late 20s by the time I was told what Slender Man was. And it was by an ex-boyfriend I had. Okay? He thought, you know, he'd scare me and ask me if I'd ever heard of, what, of Slender Man or whatever. And I'm like, no, what, you know, what is it? And he told me the story. And I had, and I... I I still wasn't quite, you know, getting it, so I'm like, alright, you know, I'll just, I'll look him up. Why not? I had nightmares for three days. Because what I looked up and the lore and different things on him that, you know, because I wanted to know what it was, so I researched, was exactly what I had seen in the woods. So... Anybody else wants to tell me he isn't real? 
can kiss my ass. Yep. Now granted, like I said, do I believe in him? I will say yes or no, because I've never seen him. But quite frankly, from the pictures I've seen and whatnot, I don't want to see him. <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, and don't take the art, you know, people look him up and, you know, there's a bunch of people that have drawn him and there's art and all this. The art ain't shit. I kind of looked up the more graphic, like, exactly what it looks like versus the, you know, PG bits. And, uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, that's um, a definite case of no freaking thank you. Pretty much. Um, then actually, since we're on that topic, something people have been actually emailing me about, some people that I used to know and whatnot, yeah. um, have been emailing me about the question, is Bloody Mary real? Would you like to know my answer? Hell yes. She is not something you want to mess with. I can tell you that from experience, because I have seen her. And she's not that, she's, she's not that friendly. No, she's not. So, yes, for all those, you know, that want to, Oh, she's not real, I'm going to do this to prove you wrong. All I got to say is, if you do it, you deserve everything you get. Pretty much. And I'm going to use the same thing that goes with playing stupid-ass fucking games. Like the Midnight Man, things like that. It's all amounts to the same damn thing. That's one thing. There is a game, okay? There is a video game of the Midnight Man. You will not Never catch me playing that ever. What is it anyway? I've never heard of that. It's a game. Well, I know that. Okay, it is a pagan based okay. game. And what it is, is you have a candle and. I forget what the hell else. Um, <clears throat> and you try to survive from midnight till dawn. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. With this thing chasing after you. Yeah, and you can't you can't use a flashlight. It has to be a candle. Um, but there is a process where you have to draw like your own name and blood and crap like this, which it, it's. Anything that requires you to draw your name in blood is fucking stupid. Yeah. And I don't mean the thing itself is stupid. You fucking doing it is stupid. Yep. Anyway, continue. Please. Um. I don't know. Market Player has it in one of his videos. If people want to watch it and learn about it, they can go to him. Type in Midnight, the Midnight Man Space Markiplier. He'll come up with his videos. Oh, Lord. Um. Something tells me I don't want to play it either. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it's pagan-based, honey, and I'm pagan per se. People better not yell at me for saying that. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm Wiccan, okay, but in the same respect, I view it as also being a part of paganism. I've had people yelling at me like, it's not part of it at all. Well, fuck you, yes it is to me. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm staying right here because this is gonna be fun. Mm. I'm gonna connect all these little trees, make myself a big ass tree house. Where am I gonna get the wood? You might say, um, from the other trees. <laughs> mm. Something else that people's been asking me here lately: why I, um, why I don't talk much about, you know, spiritual things and stuff like that, because that, apparently that's like the trend now for everybody, you know, to talk about ghosts and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I can tell you something right now. The reason I don't, and that's for anybody that's listening here, the reason I don't talk about ghosts is because I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, talking about ghosts and stuff are no big deal. They want me to go into detail of do's and don'ts and why you don't want to do this or why you don't want to do that. Oh, well, that's, again, not a bad thing. Mm. I'm very superstitious when it comes to that thing. I don't want to piss it off. <laughs> oh, and my trees are starting to disappear, so I cannot use these. Damn it. And some people also have asked me in the emails that I've received. Is a, um... 
what's a what's a thing called? Um, I actually had an email from a teenage girl. She was like 19, 18, 19. She might have been 17. I don't know. Anyway, she asked me because she heard about me on YouTube. I guess through your channel or whatnot. Mm -hmm. She asked me, "Are Ouija boards bad?" Here's my thought. And something that I have told people: you bring one in my house, it will leave as quick as it came into that door. Pretty much, and so will the person bringing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those open way, way, way too big of a door. Yes. I mean, it's I not, it's not, not necessarily, you know, the board, it's not the board itself, it's the, how you use it, when you're using it, and the fact that it's an uncontrollable doorway. Exactly. And I'm sorry, I realized that last comment, I kind of went off, so... Fine. You can go ahead and talk now. It's okay, it's fine. But, you know, most people, or some people ask me, especially she did, she asked me if it's a bad thing to use. I will say yes. I do not trust them. It's uncontrollable, and if you release something into the world or environment that you cannot control, you not only put yourself at risk, but you put other people at risk as well. Exactly, and the whole, oh, well, it's a, you know, it can be controlled. Um, hello? Demon S no, can't. cannot be controlled at all. No, they can't. You know, so for people that might ask, do you use one? No, I don't. Like I said, they come into my house. Not only will it leave as quick as it came in the door, but so will the person. Mm -hmm. And if they don't leave, they will have my in their ass out the door. So yeah. And some people have also asked me, how do you, let's say, you know, you have one, how do you get rid of it? Don't, even, ask, oh. don't even answer that, because we don't need a whole slew of people having one and trying to get rid of it the way you get rid of it. Okay. If they're well, stupid, they me, so. Yeah, well, if they're stupid enough to have one, then they deserve what they have. Hang on. That's a case of bad, bad Frederick. No, no, even going into how to get rid of it. Mm. <clears throat> I would like to be able to say so myself, okay? But we'll end up with a whole slew of people who are gonna have one, thinking they can just, you know, oh well, I'll do this and this to get rid of it, and curse someone else, <clears throat> and not think of the consequences. Pretty much. <clears throat> So, for those of you who happen to have one, if you do need to know how to get rid of it, you know, you know my email, kittenfoxfuzz at gmail.com, um, right, or it's up to you if you want to put your email out there or not. I'd have to spell the whole thing, and it'd be hard for people to probably read it. You know, so I mean, personal answers is a whole other thing, but putting it on here, no, sorry, you're SOL. <laughs> Well, can I just tell them about an experience that one of my, somebody that I know had that scared the shit out of them? Well, yeah, experiences are okay. fine, but I mean, I, I do want to say we've got about 10 minutes before we've hit the hour mark. Okay. Well, then, let me finish this in 10 minutes. <laughs> um, Good luck with that. was a little girl, they had one in their house, and, um... They played with it, and it ended up scaring the crap out of them. And uh, my mother thought, okay, I'm going to throw it away. All right? So they go four blocks down from their house, and they throw it away. The next morning, and this is going to be hard to believe for some people, but it is true. I have seen it. It is very, very true. Four blocks away from the house, they put it in a dumpster. With things on top of said board. Next morning, that board was sitting on the nightstand next to my mother's bed. Yeah, there's been a lot of reports of that. So yeah, just to let y'all know, it don't work. <laughs> right. Now we are probably gonna kill oh, what, dear? Ever once a board is used in any way, there's only one of four ways to destroy it. None of which we're going into here. 
Yeah. I mean, they're all... I doubt any of your viewers would know the proper methods or things you need to do it. Yeah, but see, the thing I'm trying to avoid is the mentality of, well, I know how to get rid of it, so I'll go out and get one and use it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not yeah. listening. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, no one. Once someone knows how to get rid of it or destroy it or whatever, they're not going to take the precaution of "Hello, fuckhead, it's dangerous. Don't use it." Besides that, even if you do know how to destroy it, once you destroy it, you can use whatever's in it. Exactly. Yeah, and it's like I said, it's not bad. Anyway, this has been Crescent Moon with Rykor and. Draco Wolf. Ah. Where he finally decided to quip in on something. Hey. Well, you've been quiet the entire episode. I'm usually quiet. I'm usually yeah. the one that doesn't do the talking or anything of that nature. Well, yeah. that's true. He's a sub boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll probably continue this conversation in the next episode, because I'm still, I mean, I haven't even built my house yet. I finally found some place to settle down. <laughs> so, I'm going to pause it here, and then just stop and save and start recording again. Alrighty, see y'all in a minute, I guess. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye-bye.